1994 and 95 proved to be Andy's FA Cup glory days. After beating Burton Albion in the fourth qualifying round, Hitchin were drawn away to Hereford United. And that's when all the local media interest died. We could have been drawn with a non-league side, which would have been a, a bit of an anti-climax in many ways. So we're, we're delighted to get Hereford and uh, you know, we're really looking forward to it. We're getting organised. We were a bit of a shambles a few years ago, but gradually, slowly but surely, we've, we've really got our act together. And we're making improvements all the time, so it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I've got a lot of good support behind me. Back in 1871, Hitchin had enough money to help pay for the first ever FA Cup. They even went on to reach the quarter-finals. For this Hitchin team, a place in the second round would add up to a lot. They've survived four qualifying rounds so far. Interest in the town is growing. Can they profit even further? Andy's team were to draw two all, with Andy Gray and Stan Collymore analysing Sean Marshall's two spectacular goals on Sky TV. Oh, how both technology and TV presenters have moved on. Well, Hereford were nearly the victims yesterday when they went in against Hitchin. I just wonder what Sean, Sean Marshall when he gets it. I mean, first of all, what I like there, which was a way he pulled away from the defender to create the pass in the first place. But just watch this as I run it on. Now, as he tucks inside there, now, you would think, with a player on his left, a player out in front of him, and a player on his right, there's nowhere for him to go. And it just shows you that, that the thinking, he's obviously assessed the situation in a split second and thought, well, in that case, there must be something over the top. And that was a wonderful finish. It really was. And or as good as the second? Well, the second one was different, because, and yet it was his awareness again. Of, of what was around them, and I think that that's what was so impressive about it. He pops it off, I think he pops it off there, and then he gets away. And you always tell people who are on there that side of the ball to get out. As it's played, you watch him. See him there pointing. He's put, he wants the ball in there. He's not thinking of having it square in here. He wants it ahead of the play. He wants to run at them. And as Stan says, here's a great example of beating someone. Now he, the defender's thinking he's going to take a touch and go down this way. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But he steps over it, the defender ends up going that way, and you watch the way he just tucks inside, and stands absolutely like right that. But the defender's gone. <laughs> but it's not over from here. And so he takes it early. I remember Kenny Dalgleish, if you remember, obviously you played in Scotland, he used to always say, go on about taking chances early, hitting the ball early. Now he could have driven on the, the kid here, but he takes it early and just, he tucks it beautifully into that corner. I mean, I just think, Two finishes were absolutely fantastic. If you'd have seen those finishes in the Premiership, they wouldn't have been out of place. Fabulous. Andy's team were to make history by beating league opposition for the first time in the club's history in front of over 3,000 fans. The part-timers of Hitchin Town play third division Hereford United here at top field. The match is a complete sellout and Hitchin Town think they can win it. Joining us now is the manager of Hitchin Town, Andy Melvin. Andy, you can't really win tonight, can you? Well, it's cup football and uh, it all, all depends on what happens over 90 minutes tonight. Um, we've got them here for a replay, we're delighted for that, so we're going to give it 100% and take it from there. This match has created an awful lot of interest in the town, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. I mean, the tickets were on sale at uh, 12 o'clock last Thursday and by 11 o'clock there was a queue 100 yards long. Would you care to predict the score? No, I just hope the lads give 100% and, you know, put a good display in tonight. Be pleased with that. Good luck to you. No swearing in the dugout, because I know what you like. <laughs> Andy, thanks very much indeed. The competition was up to its usual tricks last night, with two more teams of full-timers falling to part-time opponents. Third Division Hereford in the white shirts were twice in front at Hitchin, initially through Steve White's free header. But from an indirect free kick inside the box, defender John Bone found a way through to an equaliser, and when Hereford were for the sixth time this season reduced to ten men by a red card for Richard Wilkins, more non-league celebrations were being planned. But on the stroke of half-time, Hereford, the architects themselves of one of the great non-league triumphs over Newcastle in the 70s, were back in front courtesy of Gary Pick's header. 2-1 down at the break, Hitchin, having a miserable time of it in the Deodora Premier this season, had a hero or two to find. Gary Williams' well-taken equaliser eight minutes after the restart set them back on course for the morning headlines and set up Irish road builder Mickey Wilson for his moment in the cup spotlight. Hitchin in the lead for the first time, Hereford United heading out to non-league opponents for the third time in a row. 
In a confusing finale amid celebratory firecrackers and the like, Sean Marshall broke clear to make the score 4-2 and the outcome inevitable. The final whistle got lost in the pitch invasion along with some of the scorer's clothing. Wickham Wanderers are waiting in round two. Marshall's got 10 days to find his shirt. The Hertfordshire part-timers now play second division Wickham Wanderers in round two. Absolutely delighted. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Did it the hard way? Well, we always seem to do things the hard way, but uh, it's excitement, isn't it? We give the crowd their money's worth, you know. Fantastic result. Wickham Wanderers, well, it's our club improving all the time. It's going to be a good game. We've nothing really to lose. We're just going to go and enjoy it. Hopefully get something out of the game anyway. You can't go any any further surely well I had a dream we were going to get Man United in the third <laughs> round so you, you never know do you? you never know but we're just delighted to get there and, and obviously we're going to go and play Wickham and really enjoy ourselves it's all I can ask us to do so Wickham are next and then Manchester United in round three perhaps the Hitchin Town Cup run continues